Alright, Paul, time for the reservation races now. I think we should start with, like, an all-black affair, don't you think? Yep, Helen Benjamin, Sidney Newton, and Trisha Davidson are first up. They're all in black. Two flyers and a swimmer, both all packed up and ready to go. So here's looking at the lineup for this first phase. And it's best of luck to the three divas starting off this week's action for the Women's Asian Porsche on the show. Here we go, everyone is on the clock. And please start the race! And right now, number eight is Kurt Ratsal. He will be left behind in the crowd. It looks like Harry Benjamin is off to a pretty good start ahead of Sidney Newton and Trisha Davidson. As the three black divas make their way into the palm trees. Well, not black, or black in color of their costumes, technically. But anyway, there goes Helen Benjamin busting down the line. She is going to lead over the free D rest of the camera one. <clears throat> and who will get the first opening toss of the week? As Helen Benjamin hands for the water, it's number one who gets the first opening toss for the winners division portion of week 25's action. And right now, number two is getting left behind in the competition. And number one is going so he's better to drop down in the last place over the eight shot right now. <coughs> That's B minus number two in this phase. <coughs> Will be made by Helen Benjamin, who's trying to hold on Trisha Davidson over at the hill. And right now, number six tried to defend his lead over the four seven chow, heading into the bridges, and he's going to rest. <coughs> and who will get to the next command speed rest? It's number eight, and there goes number seven down from the count over at the bridges. By now, number one is getting left behind in the competition on the way back. We're passing the one minute mark in the race as he will get the next command. Because try desperately to make the pass for number two. Meanwhile, Howard Benjamin is safely in the lead ahead of Trisha Davidson, but Sidney Newton still has a chance to get his ninth win after suffering a tough loss to Olivia Fortin last week. <coughs> Right now, number eight will get another turn. That makes his sex be space. And he currently leaves with five to a chow. Not, not too dominating, but still a comfortable lead. Right now, it is number one who is getting left behind. Number two seems like he's also left behind in the crowd. I don't think I don't want to get Spears every now and then. Next, Spears belongs to number seven. And down goes, he goes my second time in this race. And back with fun, it was like Cindy Newton has made a comeback. His, her power is now. She has to leave thanks to her power and strength as number two leaves number one in the dust when the next command is us. But he but he's still way behind in the competition on the back. Number one is the real do is way behind. But it's number eight who wakes up for his nap, takes the next command us. that makes his best PS race. And right now Sidney Newton has his race all right, the way to drum it. Hello measurement won't have enough swimming power to catch up to her in time. As number two takes his second speed as race, and number one squad was getting up behind for the second time in this race. Cindy Newton holds up Hello Benjamin to secure the first win of the Women's Major Races. Great job by Cindy Newton. And it looks like number six will close out speed as race, passing number eight for fifth place. Alright, so Cindy Newton bounced back from last week's loss. Yep, she is now nine and three, trying to defend her lead at a cowboy, and it's more time coming up, so stay tuned.